files so today I'm coming with a very popular topic that I get questions all the time it is sex after baby um, I actually got this question a lot before I had the baby and I'm getting it a lot more after having the baby I guess because a lot of people feel like the sex after baby has changed um with me it hasn't really changed but as far as like being able to have sex has changed <laughs> like your chances of being able to have sex now that you are a mom it's like it's very slim it's not like it used to be where it's like you know your husband come home from work y'all get it in real quick then you good to go y'all can do it right after lunch right after dinner get you a couple quickies in during the day you know you can't do that because you got the little one you know what i mean so you got to make sure the little one's taken care of or the little one is down for a nap or something like that before y'all, you know, handle y'all's business. Because if you're trying to handle your business while your little one is awake, I guarantee your little one going to be like, ah. yeah, your baby going to be like, uh-uh. Y'all better tend to me. Forget your needs. Mine come first. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you got to know this, but I have always had problems when it comes to sex because my uterus is not the normal uterus i have a uterus that is kind of in the wrong spot it's like instead of it being in the middle where it's supposed to be mine is kind of tilted a little bit and it's flipped the opposite way so you know your uterus is supposed to be straight mine is kind of like this here and it's backwards so I don't know what you call that. It it causes a lot of pain when it comes to sex. So there's like certain positions that you have to do to actually have it pleasurable. And then there are certain positions that I just can't do because I got spine damage. And I just I my body just ain't gonna let me do all that stuff. Like, you know how some of some people are just flexible. I, I I'm just not one of them. I, I'm not flexible. Um, I, I, the whole, you know, legs behind the head and all that, I, it's not me. It's not happening. I can't. But, you know, I mean, my husband ain't complaining, so. <laughs> but, yeah, the, sex after baby, it's, for me, it's been about the same for other people, I've heard that it has been a lot different. I, however, had a C-section, so my experience is a little bit different. You know, my baby didn't, you know, come out my hoo-ha. So, my hoo-ha didn't change as far as, like, tightness, looseness, anything like that. Um, I have heard, however, that some people having vaginals, they hoo-ha ends up being looser which causes your sex life to change a little bit because your significant other does not like it loose. And then there are some of them that have had vaginals and they end up being tighter because they ripped naturally and were sewn back together. And when you're sewn back together, like, scientifically from what my ob told me before i had my son and i had a c-section all that stuff because i was worried about you know whether my hoo-ha was gonna snap back <laughs> but like what my ob what she told me was like if you are having a vaginal you want to rip naturally you don't want them to snip you if that makes sense you want to rip naturally so that when you rip your body knows where to rip so when they sew you back together you come back nice and and tight like you might come back a little bit tighter than what you were beforehand if you were loose i mean i ain't never had a problem being loose i've always been tight down there but you know it is what it is if you are planning on having a vaginal you want to rip 
naturally you don't want them to cut you down there you want to rip naturally tell them to numb you down there okay tell them to numb the shit out of you excuse my french numb you down there so that way when you rip you don't really feel it it you know yes you might have an epidural but that epidural can only do so much I mean, let's be real. I had an epidural and I felt every freaking contraction. I'm not going to sit here and say that every freaking contraction was horrible. My contractions were not that bad. I would much rather have contractions than to have my day-to-day -day pain. And that's just being real. But for real. Tell them to not cut you down there. You want them to let you naturally rip. So that way they can sew you back up. So then you can be tight and right ready for your significant other to get your bang bang in and you know problem solved <laughs> i know y'all probably gonna have like a thousand and one more questions so yeah my inbox is open my comment section down below is open so leave your comments and questions and concerns down there make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already thumbs up the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye